song that reminds me of my time on the West Coast. Hope this one reminds you of home too. You just say the word. What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Upcoming Mods. This is a series where I show you guys some of the mods coming out for Fallout 4 that are currently a work in progress and basically mod authors have been posting progress pictures of their different steps along the way. It's important to remember while watching the series that mod authors work at different paces and they're doing this all for free. So some of these mods may not be being released for a few weeks, others might not be coming for a few months. I also do want to give a quick disclaimer, I am pretty sick while recording this so sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weird, but if you do enjoy the content. I encourage you guys to consider subscribing, but with that, let's get right into it. So up first, we have a relatively simple mod, but a pretty cool one nonetheless. As you can see, this is basically going to add in a new Ricola drinking animation. I don't really have actual details as to how this is going to work, but I'm going to assume that basically as you drink a new Ricola now, this animation will actually commence directly after that, rather than just appearing on your kind of hot bar saying, oh, you drank something. This definitely seems like pretty easily be ported over to other drinks also, so maybe we'll see a few different drinks getting this animation right off the bat, and then who knows? Now I'm kind of imagining all the different foods out there that could get custom animations like this. Like imagine watching your character eat a steak with a little knife and everything. That'd be pretty funny. Maybe not the most practical thing in the world because it'll take so long. But nonetheless, really excited to see these new animations, not just for weapons, but for Nuka Cola also. So up next we have the Enforcer Armor. This is actually a pretty cool looking armor mod for females. There's only a full body work in progress picture, there's no in-game pictures of the actual pants, but nonetheless it does look really cool. It seems like it's going to be kind of a body armor or some kind of tactical vest following the role of an Enforcer, kind of one of those like bruiser type dudes, but obviously being a female now. Nonetheless it does look pretty cool and it does have kind of suggestive content, you know obviously you can see the girl's stomach and it has no sleeves and all that, but at the same time it's definitely not a sludgy mod. I definitely support female armors that aren't going down the slutty route and just kind of being a cool all-around armor fitting into Fallout 4, which I definitely think this does and in a pretty good way. So up next we have the Storyteller Companion from Anuctium. So I'm sure you probably heard of the Storyteller Armor, it's a pretty popular power armor mod for Fallout 4 and one of the first ones to be released for Xbox One where it did get a lot of downloads. Nonetheless, it actually does have kind of a backstory behind it. It was made for the Shoddycast channel, who do a series called The Storyteller, so there's actually a little bit of a backstory behind the armor that I'm not going to delve into, but it seems like now they're going to actually create it into a companion. It's going to be pretty interesting, especially if they do take advantage of some of the series aspects and kind of put that into the armor. Maybe you'll have a quest to go get him. It would be really cool if he's custom voice, because, I don't know, that would just be awesome. Hopefully, that will be a feature. And frankly, I think this would be cool for two reasons. One, I actually just like the idea of having a companion as a power armor. I know there are certain mods like Patriot that do this and I just really like those and I think it's a cool aspect to have in the game. And on top of that, as someone that actually watches the storyteller, it'd be pretty cool to have that character in my actual game. Considering how many times I've seen them in Fallout 4 videos, having them, you know, play with me and go attack stuff with me would be a pretty surreal experience and something I'm definitely looking forward to with this mod. So up next we have the Zarya armor. If you did not know, Zarya is one of the characters in the very popular game Overwatch. She's kind of a heavier or tanky hero, and now it does seem like this mod author is going to incorporate her armor into Fallout 4, hopefully as a unisex armor, because I could totally see, even just looking at the armor right now, how they could work as either a male or a female armor. Nonetheless, I think the armor itself does look really cool. Obviously, I'd love to have her firearm as well, because that's a really cool kind of like launcher type gun. It's very different compared to most things we have in video games. Right now the armor does look really good and it totally actually fits into the Fallout theme. Obviously it looks like it's not as kind of vibrant and the saturation is definitely turned down compared to Overwatch so it definitely looks a little bit more rugged and have some darker colors which will make it fit into Fallout 4 very well. But even just looking at that work in progress picture that looks like something that could already exist in Fallout 4 as kind of a raider armor or just one of the different armors in the game and I'm very excited to see this one get released. 
So last but not least, we have Footprints of the Jotun. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, and don't get your hopes up, this is only cosmetic, you're not supposed to be able to use these actual things. On top of that, there's actually a ton of pictures in this album, so I'm going to link it in the description. Go check it out if you want to see some more content, because I don't have enough time to show you all of them. Nonetheless, what this mod aims to add in is kind of all these mechs around the Fallout 4 world. They're meant to be remnants of the Great War from all the different nations actually battling it out, and for whatever reason, a lot of these mechs don't just seem to be around, other than like Liberty Prime. So now as you travel throughout Fallout 4, you're actually going to see these mechs on the ground kind of broken down in their various states. I think this is a very cool idea for a mod and I really like the work in progress pictures. It actually plans to add a little bit more than just some mechs also. They aim to add kind of like little quests around these things so you could have a treasure hunt or kind of a scavenger hunt around the different mechs to find different hollow tapes and stuff like that, giving you some backstory to what the mechs were actually doing prior to the war or during the war. Adding in a totally new faction called the Iron File. We don't really have any details as to what they're going to be doing, but I imagine maybe they'll be trying to bring power back to the mechs or get them working again. But right now they are raiders in the game, so imagine they'll be hostile to you at first. And then last but not least, on the low priority is supposed to be a new robot companion. One thing I would actually love to have as a part of this mod is some kind of power armors or just regular armors that correspond to some of these different mechs. It'd be cool if like there was a quest associated with one of these mechs and then as a reward for completing that quest, I got a power armor that kind of mimicked what that looked like. I think that would just be a cool way to incorporate this mod into Fallout 4 and make it a little bit more than just aesthetic. That's going to pretty much wrap it up for this one though guys. I do hope you enjoyed this video as always. I'm sorry I'm still sick. I've been kind of like doing all the things you're supposed to do to not be sick but I just seem to be remaining with